Welcome back to part two of my Buffalo National River trip. So here you can see we're enjoying breakfast. It's morning of day three. It's Sunday. We're about to break camp here shortly and get on the water. And our plan today is really just to make some miles. The day before we made 17 and a half, which is pretty close to our average, and we plan on around 18 miles per day. And so we made that yesterday, but the first day with the shuttle, we only made half of that. And so we thought, okay, today let's just try to get in a few extra miles and uh, maybe do that each day because, you know, you don't want to rush through the trip, but you also, what we want to do is pad our schedule and get some of our extra miles in early and not be caught in a bad spot in, on the last day or two having to make a lot of miles. And this actually worked out really good for us with the weather that's coming in later, which is another thing. We have hardly any cell coverage on this river, but when we do pick up signal, we got to check the weather because we know some storms are coming in, but that'll be in the next video. So for today, we're just going to get on the water and enjoy the beautiful Buffalo National River. <laughs> well, as you can tell, I was having the time of my life out there on those waves. Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! Now, I will say, you know, I'm not a whitewater kayaker. I'm uh, admittedly a recreational kayaker, mostly flat water, but I've done up to class two stuff. Uh, as long as it don't require a helmet, I'm fine with it, and I enjoy it. It's fun, but I, at the moment, I just don't have the desire to go up to three or higher where you have to wear a helmet. But uh, this was a lot of fun, and, and what's really funny, looking back at, as I'm putting this video together, 
on days one and two, I can see where I intentionally went around some of the waves like this. These were by far the biggest that we encountered on the whole trip. Um, and fortunately, I had gone through enough. I'd built up my confidence. I'd kind of learned my boat, what it was going to handle. And that was part of it, too. Uh, I'd never had my canoe in any real kind of current or rapids except for one little trip a couple weeks before this one, a little creek called Blue Water Creek. My brother and I caught it just right after some rain it was flowing good it had a couple little rapid sections but nothing like this so getting out on this water getting used to these waves i had to learn the boat i had to learn how to handle it I had to feel it out how it was going to respond and so again after a day or two of that um, i felt comfortable with it so by this third day i was hitting these things head on and and uh, i wish i'd been doing it longer but as expression goes live and learn but we're having a blast and we're going to get back on the water here and continue going down this wonderful river.
At 4.40 p.m., we had just passed the Narrows. We saw this large gravel bar on the left, so we pulled over, checked it out. Turns out it was a great spot for us to set up camp, so we did. You know, one thing I haven't done is talked a whole lot about our campsites. The Buffalo National River is essentially a national park the entire length of the river. And so you can camp anywhere that you can find a spot. And there are a lot of spots. There's a lot of gravel bars like you see here in islands with trees. If you need to hammock camp, we had two hammocks, three tents, and we were able to hammock camp the entire trip. There was one night that we, it was a little sketchy, but uh, we'll get to that later. First night, there was large river rocks in the ground. I had a hard time getting my stakes in. The second night, it was completely sand, and I had a hard time getting my stakes to stay in. And you can tell in this video that this site is smaller river rocks and sand mixed in, so it was fine. But most nights, you know, I'd usually end up having to tie off to a root or an adjacent tree or something for my rain fly. But it's all just part of it. Everything always worked out, and it was great. We had a great day, and we covered 25 miles, which was over the expected average, which was good. We needed to make up a few. So we feel good that we're on track. It was a fun day, no issues, good weather. So we're just going to fix us some supper and sit around this campfire and relax and then get us a good night's rest. Good morning. It is Monday, March 28th, day four of our trip. We had another good camp. Everybody slept good, and we're about to get this day started. Now, we've got two big objectives for this day. First of all, we know that we're going to stop at the Tyler Bend campground, which is right on the river. Uh, we can stop there. Some of the guys can fill up their water jugs. They have restrooms. They have a pavilion with electrical outlets so we can recharge our phone and devices. So one objective is to stop there uh, mid to late afternoon. The other objective is actually positioning ourselves for a couple of uh, milestones on day five. Uh, we're still watching the weather. They're calling for some storms overnight, tomorrow night, and the next day. So our goal is to be able to camp at Buffalo Point Campground. We're currently 47 miles away from it, so we've got some miles to cover. The issue, though, is that our other objective for day five is to stop at the Gilbert store, and it's not quite halfway. So, see, we can't go halfway to Buffalo Point because then we'd be past Gilbert, and uh, we got to position ourselves where we're not going past Gilbert too early because... You know, we want them to be open so we can go and get us some cheeseburgers. So we've got a lot to kind of work in. We're probably pushing it for one day, but spoiler alert, it works out. <laughs> and you'll see it all in the next video. But for now, let's just get on the water and enjoy some more of this amazing Buffalo National River.
<laughs> well, we made it to Tyler Bend. They had a nice pavilion here with sockets we could recharge some stuff, had some water we could refill with, restrooms. It's just a nice place to stop and hang out. Speaking of water, I did actually the evening before, I didn't talk about it, but I filtered water out of the river with a Sawyer filter. It tasted great. It took a while to use that Sawyer filter. I uh, didn't like that, but, uh, but it worked well and the water's great. Here we're taking a little lunch break during the day and we took rest stops morning and, and afternoon. So we made good mileage today. We made 19 miles. And again, that's really all we could do because we had to position to uh, be at Gilbert around nine or a little after in the morning. So uh, we made it where we wanted to be. So we set up near Bucks Point. Uh, we were actually within eye shot and ear shot of the US 65 bridge. Wasn't really crazy about that, but it was a great campsite otherwise. Uh, you can see my hammock right there on the edge of the woods. This was a spot that was a little bit sketchy. Wes and I right there on the right were in the hammocks. We had to set up just right on the edge because the undergrowth was real thick. So that wasn't ideal, but uh, overall it was a great campsite. Uh, we had a good time. So we're gonna wrap this one up and uh, we'll see y'all on the next video.